right here. Kim Hollywood List. Mm -hmm. I'm Stacy with Kim's Hollywood List. Stacy, how said. do you do Hollywood too? Hollywood List. All oh, right, the list. Yes, and it's a positive Kim's Hollywood only. List. Yep, positive, positive only. Handmade Water. microphone and everything. <laughs> yep, exactly. I. How did you get involved with the Surfrider Foundation? Um, I didn't really. No, I'm kidding. Um, well, a Surfrider, you hear the name around and you're not exactly sure what you, they do and they send you an email and you read about it. You're like, oh, they, they monitor the water and the beaches and see if the water is clean, if it's not clean, if the beaches are dirty. And then they let people know that it's dirty and what can we do about it to clean it up. And, uh, and I really like clean water and clean beaches. I feel like if that's dirty, then we're going to be dirty. Mm -hmm. And even though we made that dirty, we better clean that up so that we can enjoy the cleanliness. And by the way, there are some other creatures living out there that would appreciate some clean water as well. So. Well, how long have you been surfing? Surfing? Officially three years and about a week. I, I tried it a few times and never stuck and then I moved to the beach and fell in love. That's good. What's your favorite part about it? About surfing? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really a favorite guy. But uh, I love almost everything about it. Um, there's a lot to love. You're participating in energy that came from far, far away. Like maybe a storm was in New Zealand and then it just creeps up to California and explodes on the beach and you're part of that exchange and it's pretty magical. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, to sound a little uh, spiritually cliche, it's very meditative because you're sitting out there on a board and it's mm -hmm. calm and you're waiting and you have to be at peace with yourself and you're looking back at the land and it's like, oh, wait a second, I love this. Yeah. Well, another question not related to this event, do you have any music projects in the works? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. Okay. Any information Funnily on enough, that? yeah. Well, we've been writing songs for about 11 months. Okay. Um, about 11 months ago, uh, our guitar player, John Fashante, decided to move on and do other things. And it was one of those moments where, this, is this a good thing or a bad thing? And then we realized, oh, this is a good thing for him because he wants to experience yeah. other avenues. And it was a good thing for us as well because we happened to know a guy that we really wanted to play music with. And then we just started writing songs and, um, and now we have many to record and we start on Monday, as in two days from this moment, <laughs> to record this music and um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the batch of songs that we have. Yeah. Any information about the songs? How, what type of style? Is it the traditional um, style that you guys have had in the past? Our style's a little bit on the undefinable side. I mean, anything goes. Yeah. You know, we're fortunate in so much as we can play anything we want and it sort of makes sense. Hard, soft, slow, fast, funky, heavy, jazzy, nothingness, forward, progress, anything goes kind of a thing. And there's a little bit of everything. But it's, it is spirited and it does feel of this moment. And, it makes me happy to play it, to listen to it, and work on it. I'm excited for it to actually come out once you guys record it. Yeah. So have a good time out there, good luck, and thank, thank you. you for the interview. All right then. <laughs> Kim? I'm Stacy, but Stacey. I'm with Kim's Hollywood with Kim's List. Hollywood. All right, yep. thank you, Stacey. <laughs> Hi.